back again. This is Gary. Uh, I'm going to give you a final look at my uh, slam fire shotgun, the cold slamming iron. I uh, made a few modifications to it, just dressed it up a little bit. Uh, for one thing, I put a single point sling on it, which actually, if you carry it along with it right under your arm, you can swing it up really easily. It, it actually works pretty good. I just have it, uh, just a piece of webbing I had with a buckle on it. And a little lashing with a piece of paracord here. And that way I didn't have to modify the shotgun at all. I actually added some sights to it too. Just a simple V in the back and a bead on the front. Maybe give me a chance to hit them pop bottles now. I don't know. And I also put a shell holder on it. <clears throat> Cryptic Cricket on his channel, he has a real good tutorial about making these shell holders and they work really well. It just holds it just great. They're uh, tightened up, they don't jar around with recoil, but they're easy to get out too. So that worked for a good, it's a good addition to it. Uh, I just mounted mine on a piece of thin sheet metal and Pop riveted across the rails of the stock. Nothing fancy, but it certainly works good. And I also added a uh, recoil pad, butt pad, whatever you want to call it, that is made out of a piece of 99 cent flip flops. And just contact cement it through my butt plate. And uh, actually, it just makes a heck of a difference as far as recoil goes. You wouldn't think it'd make much difference, but it, it really does. But anyway, that's about it for the slam fire. It uh, turned out pretty good, I think. I like it. And I don't know, I kind of stalled out on that 38 special I was talking about making. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. But uh, I'll come up with something, I'm sure. But anyway, the giveaway. I said I'd have some kind of little stupid contest when I hit 100 subscribers. Well, right now I got 104, so I figured I better do something. And this is kind of a subscriber appreciation type deal, I guess you'd call it. I've got 104 subscribers and 3,300 views, which <laughs> amazes me. But uh, anyway, what I'm gonna do is all you have to do is comment on this video and you will be automatically in the drawing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run it to uh, a week from Monday, which I think is the 16th of May, I believe. I'm going to run it through Monday, then I'm going to shut it off, and then uh, Monday evening, I'll get somebody to draw a name out of the hat. I'll put everybody who commented, I'll put their name in the hat and we'll draw one. Then I'll contact you and get your mailing address. Uh, for a prize, I went ahead and got, got her in my pocket here, a uh, a Mora Companion knife. Those are really nice little knives. I wish, when I ordered it, I wish I would have ordered two, or would have kept one. But anyway, it's got a black, black grip, uh, OD green sheath, and snapped right in there. I mean, this would be light enough to use for a neck knife or belt knife, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, I know a lot of guys put them on machetes, mount them right on their machete case. But uh, I don't know, I figured that'd make a nice little prize. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to run it until the 16th of May, which is a week from Monday. Yeah, a week from Monday. And then we'll put the names in the hat, and I'll get somebody, a grandkid, granddaughter, grandson, somebody to draw a name out of the hat on camera here, and we'll see who gets some more. 
So, all right. Thanks a lot for watching. Please uh, like it, <laughs> subscribe, or share my videos. I kind of tongue tied there for a minute. But at any rate, I really appreciate everybody who's watching. And here's one last look. Ta da! But, uh, so, all right, don't forget to comment, and we'll give that more to somebody. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one.